Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today I'm going to show you guys how the cooling system on the PS4 Slim actually works. Now, while this video is going to be about the PS4 Slim, this is actually a similar cooling system to the original PS4 and the PS4 Pro. The Pro has a beefed up cooling system. I'll try to do a video on that at some point in the future, but it's on the same principles as the PS4 Slim. So let's get this thing partially torn apart and I'll explain to you how it works in detail. So with the top cover removed on our PS4 Slim, you can see that right here we have the fan and you can see there's a metal plate covering this part and on the metal plate there's holes right around here and right around here. Now this is the air intake. So what happens is this is right up here. The top cover is right up here and then it's got, got slots on each side of the Slim console and right here is the intake air. So the cool air comes in right here and I'll remove this again. And then all the cool air goes up here and it goes right inside the fan right here. So this top plate covers the fan and it helps to create a suction for the air coming into the PS4 Slim. Next, I'm gonna remove this top plate and I'll show you the rest of what happens inside where the fan is located. have that metal plate removed and you can see that this is the fan. So what happens is the fan goes inside these slots in the middle right here and the air goes down inside where the fan is. The fan spins this way. It takes the air, pushes it around here and right through the heat sink right here. So the air comes in through the sides over the metal plate down in through the fan right in the middle. The fan is spinning fast, which pushes the air around the air chamber in through the heat sink, through the power supply and out the vents in the back of the PS4. Now I'm gonna turn this thing on so you can see it live. So here we go, the air would come over here, down in through here, and then it spins around and pushes it through the heat sink. Now, some people ask me, why wouldn't we just have this cover completely off? That, that gives a lot better access to air for the fan and heat sink. The problem with that is there's no suction and no pressure built up inside this chamber right here. So with this plate over here, the fan sucks the air in through here and then it's sealed off on the top. So it has to push through the heat sink because this right here is where the vast majority of heat happens because it's right over the APU and that's what generates the, va the vast majority of heat. So you actually want that sealed off exactly how they have it so the air is forced through this heat sink and then out through the power supply. That's what's gonna keep this the coolest and that's why you wanna keep everything intact exactly how they have it. Don't keep the covers removed or anything like that because it's meant to kind of pressurize the air so it has to go be pushed out through that heat sink. So that's how the cooling system works. On most PS4s, they're a little bit different depending on the model. I'll do another video at some point about the PS4 Pro showing you a similar thing. The PS4 Pro's cooling system is definitely beefed, a beefed up version of this because the PS4 Pro is so much more powerful. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave any questions or comments in the comments section and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for hanging out and have a good day.